Hey everybody, this is Coaster Crazy 10 Welcome back to another Pick Up Some Packages video. I actually did go to the flea market this weekend, but unfortunately it was a complete and total strikeout. Uh, I mentioned that I would be going in my last pickups video, but you know it rained the day before and that scared off most of the people that were uh, supposed to be there, I guess, so I didn't really find anything of any consequence. However, I actually found an arcade um, that is pretty close to where I live, at home, about 20 minutes away. Um, they actually sell used games there. So I went there with my dad, we spent about four or five hours there, and I bought some stuff and I actually was pretty happy with it um, and on top of that I, I do have a package uh, I, I bought a couple things from Marcus X-File 2708 and uh, that package came so I'm just gonna do all that in one video so uh, let's go ahead and get into the pickups from the arcade and then I'll show you guys uh, what I bought from Marcus um, these were all very fair prices um, and, and games that I have been looking for for a while so they had a really good selection um, prices were very reasonable, um, and the guy was super nice, so um, definitely planning on going back there again, because it seems like they get fresh stock in all the time. And I think they're one of the stores that will like order lots from off from off the internet, and then like take that in store, and then resell everything at a slightly higher pr uh, price, so it kind of works to their benefit. They're just like a mass reseller, I think, but they also take in-store trade-ins. So I guess let's just go ahead and get into the games. I got four NES games. Uh, the first one here is Bad Dudes. It's a Data East. I think this is a, like a side-scrolling beat-em-up. I've heard a lot about this, and this and River City, City Ransom are two that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, I have not found River City Ransom yet, but uh, definitely on the lookout for that. That was three bucks. Um, I got another copy of this. I traded my previous copy to Rusty, R.E. Lewis, 2011. Um, I'll shout him out. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I've shouted him out before. But, um... It's Rad Racer. That was a buck. That was really cheap. Um, we got another Capcom Disney platformer. I think it's a platformer. Tailspin. Been looking for this forever too. Uh, this was $4. Uh, really nice condition on this one. I'm really excited to play this. I didn't get a chance while I was home, but definitely will look to uh, play that soon. And then uh, this one I'm probably the most excited about out of the, the whole lot of NES games. And that's Bionic Commando. Absolute classic. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is one that I, so many people really like this game, and I've been meaning to get my hands on it for a while. But you know, it's you buy it on eBay, you're gonna pay more than four dollars. You're gonna pay four dollars in shipping alone. So I've been waiting to find it locally, and I finally did. Um, I also picked up a copy of Prince of Persia: The Two Thrones for the PS2. This completes the Prince of Persia trilogy for the PS2, and this is pretty much mint. Um, Besides the sticker on the front, which should come off no problem, this is about as good a condition as you're going to get on a PS2 game without it being sealed, so that was cool. That was five. And then the last game is a Sega CD game, actually, and I believe this is a, this is a, it's a first-person shooter. Um, I've, I've had my eye out for this for a while. Um, that's Stellar Fire. It's $4. It's not a spectacular game, but it's definitely a title that actually has a bit of recognition, name recognition, so... I wanted to pick it up while I could. Um, it's nice and complete. Uh, very, very nice condition. No megaphone in there, uh, but it's on the hinges, and there's very minimal cracks to the case, and it's definitely something that I can deal with, considering how badly these cases get crushed. So, um, got the package here, covering up the address. Um, as I said, this is from Marcus, X-File 2708. Um, good friend of mine. I've shouted him out several times before. You guys probably know who he is, but um, as always, link in the description. And I bought a few things from him. Um, um, basically, he, he's doing a massive clear out of his collection. And, um, let's see. Oh, okay, that's just padding material. Um, he's doing a massive clear out of his collection. He's selling off a lot of stuff that he's not really bothered about. Uh, keeping anymore, and he had a couple Game Boys from the collection he was amassing that I was interested in. Um, one of them going towards my full Game Boy collection, and another one, it's more of a novelty thing. Um, so I got two of them here, and I paid, um, actually I, I won't say what I paid for this. I mean, I got a, I feel like it was a fair price all around, um, but I try not to talk about prices when I buy things from, uh, 
guys here on YouTube. So, um, first one here, this actually completes my um, original Game Boy collection. Uh, this is in really nice condition. It's a yellow, play it loud, uh, DMG original Game Boy. Um, battery cover is fine. It's missing the one sticker, but it doesn't matter. Um, screen is uh, actually it's pretty much flawless. There's a couple scratches on the surface, but it's really not bad. Um, there's no corrosion in the battery compartment. So that is number six of six for my original Game Boy collection. This is awesome. This is really hard to find in the United States. Um, and Marcus had a, a pretty good price on the one he was selling, so very happy about that. And the other one is, this is the, more of a novelty thing. Um, let's see if I can get into this. I'll just slip it out this way. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, there's a game in here. Um, we've got tennis. I don't think I have this one. So, cool. Thank you, Marcus, for that freebie. I didn't know you were putting that in there. Um, this is in really nice condition. This is really, really cool, actually. Um, it is a Atomic Purple and Atomic Purple Game Boy Cut or Pocket. And this is a Japanese exclusive. And this is just so cool because I remember I had a, an Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. Um, when I was little, that was my Game Boy, and uh, so it's it's kind of my favorite color. Um, and to see it on a Game Boy Pocket is so cool. So there you go, guys. That is awesome. So uh, big thanks to Marcus X Five Twenty Seven Zero Eight. As I mentioned, his name will be in the description, or his channel will be in the description, and I'll put Rusty's name in the description. Why not? I talked about him, so uh, who cares? He's a nice guy, and he deserves and all the uh, the traffic he can get on his channel. So. Um, I think that's it guys, kind of a quick package video, um, I've got my March music pickups video coming soon, and I also have a couple other items on their way, um, so there will be another packages video shortly, well maybe like in a week or two, it depends on how long it takes things to get here, but um, yeah, I started uploading my new Let's Play, so that'll be pretty much what's, what's on my channel until I, these next couple pickup videos, so um, hopefully that's alright with you guys. And with that, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple days with the next part of the Let's Play.